everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another one palette look for you guys and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette which smells so good. So uh, I created this entire eye look using just one palette and I wanted to do something that was kind of fall themed but still kind of like still like getting that last little bit of summertime in there so I went with like a peachy type of smoky eye and I paired it with a fall themed lip which is the city color lip crayon which I really really love so if you guys want to see how I dropped it so if you guys want to see how to get this look then just keep watching so I've already primed my eyelids and what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my loose setting powder and a flat brush and I'm going to dip the tips of that brush in there to create my nice line. This is going to give me a softer edge to the eyeshadow as like using tape would give it a nice sharp line. I just want this to be kind of really soft. So doing this is kind of going to just kind of stamp out the edge a little bit. So once I've laid that down, I'm going to go in with the palette for this look, which is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is a very well-loved palette, but I'm going to start out with this shade right here, which is Puree. So I'm going to take this and apply it in the higher portion of my crease as my transition shade. I'm going to just start working this in there and building up the color intensity as I go. I'm then going to switch into a slightly redder and deeper color and I'm going to take Summer Yum. Using that same brush, that's going to get applied pretty much where we put puree, although I'm not blending this as high. I'm leaving like a small portion of puree uncovered. Just so we might get a nice kind of gradient of shades. I'm then going to switch to a pointed brush and I'm going to take this shade right here which is charmed I'm sure. So working the very tips of that brush in there this is going to get worked in the low part like the actual fold of my eye and I'm stopping right about halfway I'm not going any further than that. Just working this in the crease of my eye. I'm then going to go into White Peach from this palette and taking that on a clean brush, I'm going to use this as my highlight shade. So highlighting my brow bone and I'm also kind of using this to blend the crease line out as well. I'm going to go back in with that brush we used for the first shade and I'm not gathering any more product on there but I am going to use it to just blend everything out so there's a nice smooth transition between all the shades and everything. So for the eyeshadow for the lid I'm going to go into the shade right here which is Berlin. And I'm going to use this shadow wet so it's almost kind of foiled. So I'm taking my brush, this is a stiff brush, and I'm spraying a little bit of setting powder on it. I'm going to go into the shade Berlin. Since it's gathered up on that brush, I'm going to go ahead and pop that on my eyelid. So for eyeliner, I'm using this brown liquid liner from e.l.f. and I'm going to be putting that on an angled brush because with the little tiny brush that comes in here, I have no control with that little thing. So I'm going to take it and literally paint it onto an angled brush. This is a really nice trick. If you like the intensity of liquid eyeliner, but you're a lot like me, and have zero control, try using this technique and it works so much better. So with this I'm going to line my top lashes. <sighs> 
So for my bottom lashes, I'm going to go in with Charmed, I'm sure, which is the dark shade we used in the crease. And taking that on a small brush and running that right under the lashes. The next step is to curl our lashes. And for mascara, I'm using an oldie but a goodie, and this is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Double Extend Mascara, which is a two-step mascara. So I'm going to take step one and wiggle this all in. So once that's had a chance to kind of dry a little bit, you don't want to let it dry completely. Um, step one, you don't want to let it dry completely, but since it's kind of a little tacky still, I'm going to go in with step two. And I'm just going to wiggle in step two. So for cheeks, I'm going to go into the Butino Beauty Blush Serum. I have used this before. Um, this came out of Birchbox, and I really do love this product. So what I'm going to do is a cream blush. I'm just going to squirt a little bit of it out because a little of it goes a long way. So like that right there. Kind of stipple it on my cheeks first and then go about blending. It's just a really nice wash of a light pink shade. So then for lips, I wanted something that's a little bit on the darker side. So I chose this um, City Color Lip Crayon in the, show, in the shade Kiss the Bride. So here you guys go. This is the final look. Here's a close-up of the eyes. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this. Don't forget there's a full list of products I used down in the description box below this video. I love you all so, so much. Don't forget, make good choices. And then I'm going to line my top. I have to put down the eyeshadow on my lid first. Ugh. Got way ahead of myself. Okay, thank God there's nothing on there. All right, oh, I just stab myself with a brush. Okay, with the tiny brush that comes inside this. What the flip flop is that?